Good morning and happy Wednesday to you, my friends. So if everyone can please stand up and remember that left is green and right is red. And which hand goes over your heart? Right hand facing the flag. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty, friends, it is now time for recitation. And remember that when we are doing recitation, the very, very first thing we do is the mm -hmm, title and the author, and our eyes are on the audience and the audience's eyes are on you. All right, and where are your hands? At your sides, in your pockets and behind your back. And remember that when we are doing recitation, we stand nice and tall. Our voices, we use normal voices that are projected. And I believe that um, Alexenia, you said that today you were ready for your recitation. Okay, so if you are ready, you may go ahead and do it. But just know that um, if what I want you to do is make sure that you are 100% ready for it, okay? Because um, I'm not going to have you do it again. So make sure that, that you got it, all right? Okay, so we'll, we'll see you doing that later on today, Alexenia. Okay, alrighty, friends. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do our recitation. A hundred ripples, author unknown. Drop a stone into the water. In a moment, it is gone. But there are a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. Say an unkind word this moment. In a moment, it is gone. But there are a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. Say a word of cheer and splendor. In a moment, it is gone. But there are a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. And then please make sure that you take your bow. Alrighty, friends, it is now time for morning meeting. So let's go ahead and see who today's student of the day will be. So yesterday, our student of the day was Reese. So let's see who it may be today. <gasps> Hmm. All right. Today's student of the day is Jose de Alba. Jose, come on down. And of course, if Jose was here, the very, very first thing Jose would do is turn the clock to morning because we don't come to school at night. Then Jose would write his first and last name, but because Jose is in here, who's going to do that for Jose? Oh yeah, this is Haro. So I will go ahead and write Jose's name. And then of course, Mrs. Haro would give Jose his student of the day sticker and then I would hand over a pointer to him I'd hand it over and say here you are young man you are on and Jose would say hold on let me get it just this whole thing here is called a calendar and this is called the year and what year are we in 
2020. And hold on a second. All right. And what is our month? Our month is December. All righty, friends. Now, if yesterday was Tuesday, then that means that today is Wednesday. But let's go ahead and double check to see if that is correct. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And friends, we have a number day missing. So let's go ahead and count and see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. And let's go ahead and see what our A, B, C, C pattern is. So here we go. Rectangle, triangle, circle, circle. Rectangle, triangle, circle, circle. Rectangle. And we are looking for the number nine. So let's go ahead and help Jose write the month, the date, and the year right here, but let's help him spell the letters in the month. And the very, very first letter is the letter capital D E C E Danelian M B E, and finally, R, December. And then we're going to finger space. And what digit are we writing today? Yep, the nine. And we're going to put a comma, comma, number. Nope, it is a space. And then let's go ahead and write the digits in the year. Two. Sorry, friends. Boy, that's terrible. Let me fix that. All right, so here we go. Two, zero, two, zero. All right, so let's go ahead and read today's date together with Jose. So here we go. Today's date is is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Now, friends, if yesterday we were here 78 days, what would today be? Hmm. I hear 79. But really, really quickly, friends, time out. Before we move on, I have something to say to you guys. Today is December 9th. Guess whose birthday it is today? Today is my birthday, friends. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind, I would really, really appreciate it. If you were to sing happy birthday to me during live sessions, please, that would really warm my heart, okay? That's the only time I'm going to tell you it's my birthday today, all right? I think I was doing pretty good at not saying anything like, hey, my birthday's coming, or mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you can ask me how old I am at live session, okay? All right, guys, so if we were here yesterday, 78 days, I heard somebody say 79. I don't know. Let's go ahead and count. Remember, Mr. Tens and Mrs. Ones, I am going to continue drawing out Mr. Tens and Mrs. Ones until you tell me to stop. All right, so you guys ready? Okay, so here we go. 10, 20. 
Forty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Ah! Okay, I, oh yeah, 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 I will stop. My gosh, you do not have to shout. Oh my. All right, so then let's go ahead and do Mrs. Ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, okay, I will stop. All right, so here we go. So now we need to graph. Mr. Ten and Mrs. Ones in our days in school graph. So let's go ahead. Are we going to write anything in our 100s column? Nope. How about in Mr. Ten's? Well, yeah, but let's see what it is. All right, so here we go. So friends, what is seven plus zero? Seven plus zero equals seven. But what is zero plus seven? Seven, what is one plus six? Seven, what is six plus one? Seven. All right, so let's go ahead and write the number seven. All right, and let's go ahead and check Mrs. Ones. All right, so let's see how many Mrs. Ones we have. <laughs> All right, so this should be bing, bang, boom, lickety split. Four plus four equals eight. That's great. Plus one more. Nine. You are correct. So we have nine Mrs. Ones. So... Today it is reading that it is 79 days, but let's just see if our days in school tag matches. Do we have seven Mr. Tens? How about nine Mrs. Ones? So how many days have we been in school? 79. That is a whole lot of days. All righty, friends, it is now time for coin cup, coin cup, coin cup. And in our coin cup, we have some coins. The very, very first coin we have is a, a penny, and a penny is worth one cent. And when we count pennies, we count them by ones, correct. And the next coin that we have in here is a dime, correct. And a dime is worth mm -hmm. 10 cents, correct. And when we count dimes, we count them by, yeah, tens. And what would be the coin that we are going to start counting with first? What's the coin we're going to use? Okay, the dime, but why? Because it's worth more. So I will drop the dimes into my cup. When I switch coins, I will hold up the penny to let you know that we're going to switch our counting. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37 cents. So let's go ahead and write 37 cents on our coin cup. Okay, so we're going to write 37 cents. And of course, we should not forget our cent sign. If we forget that cent sign, friends, it will be incorrect. 
red. Now let's go ahead and count the coins on our meeting board to make sure that what we have in our coin cup is what we have on our meeting board. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 cents on our meeting board and 37 cents in our coin cup. Good job. All right, friends. It is now time for mystery. Bag. Dun, dun, dun. So here is our mystery bag. And please make sure that you have turned on your morning brains and listen to today's clues. So today in my mystery bag, I put a number card. Okay, and I'm going to give you some clues. Okay, see if you can guess what number is in my mystery bag. All right, so listen to my clues. So it is an even number. So I'll show you our even numbers. Okay, so it is an even number. Okay, it is between 10 and 14. Okay, it is an even number and it is between 10 and 14. And you think you know the answer. I want you to raise your hand. Okay, so listen to my clue again. So today, I put a number card in my mystery bag. I want to know what number card is in here. So listen to my clues. So it is an even number. Okay. It is between 10 and 14. It is between 10 and 14. I want to know what the number card is. Lily, can you tell me what the number card is inside my mystery bag? <gasps> Lily says 14? Oh no, sorry, sorry. Lily, you said 12? Well, first of all, let's look here. So we know that it is an even number. Okay, so here are my even numbers. And the clue said it was between 10 and 14, right? There is a number right there. Lily says it's the number 12, but I don't know. Let's see. Ta-da! It is the number 12. Lily, you were correct. Please give Lily a round of applause. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Great job, young lady. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start counting by 10. So here we go. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. Let's go ahead and count by fives. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do our odds. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. Please remember that any odd numbers will always end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Our even numbers will end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. All right, cheerleaders. Okay, everybody stand up. Okay, and make sure that you show me your energy. 
All right, cheerleaders, ready. Listos. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Two do we appreciate? Don't forget to jump for me. Kindergartners, kindergartners, yay! Kindergartners, excellent, my friends. That was fantastic. And before we got a couple more things to do, but let's go ahead and do our coin song. Okay, so everybody get your beautiful voices ready. <coughs> How much is a penny? How much is a nickel? How much is a dime? How much is a quarter? A penny is one. A nickel is five. A dime is ten. And a quarter's twenty-five. And a dollar is one hundred. Sense. Very, very good. All righty, friends. So let's go ahead and look at, really, really quickly, let's look at our digital clock. So our digital clock reads 3 o'clock today. Our analog clock reads 7 o'clock. So look at our clock. The red hand is the, our hand. And the blue hand is the minute hand. So we need to match our analog clock. We need to match this to our digital. So I am going to go ahead and turn the, I'll go this way. I'm going to go ahead and turn the clock and you tell me when to stop. Okay, so make sure you are watching. Remember, the red hand is the and make sure you tell me when to stop. Are you watching? Okay, all right. Make sure you tell me when to stop. <gasps> ah, okay, let's look at our analog clock. The red hand, which is the hour hand, is on the three. And the blue hand, which is the minute hand, is on the 12. So this reads three o'clock and let's look at our digital clock our digital clock reads three o'clock so does that match yes so that is fantastic now let's look at our 100s chart okay let's look really really quickly and today we're going to count the numbers that are between 32 all the way to 49 so let's go ahead and count. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Now really, really quickly, let's see if we can locate even numbers. Remember, even numbers will end in zero to four, six, or eight, okay? So let's see, is this an even number or odd, even, okay? Now I'm gonna keep going, you tell me when to stop. Correct, even number. Correct, even number. Correct, even number, look, it ends in an eight. Correct, even number, 40. You are correct, 42. Yes, 44. Ah, yes, 46. You guys scare me each time you shout out, stop. Ah, 48, and that's it. Wow, so look at all of the even numbers that we have between the numbers 32 and 49. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, and 48. Great job, friends. All right, now, when we meet for 
morning meeting. Make sure that you bring your class back practice with you. All right, so we'll see you guys in just a little bit. All righty, bye friends.